What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. We are here with Rival Kingdoms, a brand new game guys, and I'm super excited to be bringing this to you. Look at this. You can buy a value treasure pack, but we're going to skip through this promotion and we're going to show you what's going on in this game. Um, here's your resources, obviously. They're gold, and that's actually the only resource in this entire game. Um, there's only one, so it's very interesting. Uh, here you can see my barracks just upgraded to level 3. Mana Hunter unlocked. These little winged creatures are drawn to mana like moths to a flame. Once they get the scent of it, they are not easily stopped. So basically, a true specialty, these speedy flying units tap into resonant primus within structures they attack, cause them to grant more mana on destruction. So mana is something that you use to use your hero abilities, basically, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But let's do the basics real quick. I'll show you what we got here. And then we'll do some attacks and we'll go over the game. And of course, guys, if you haven't, go ahead and download it right now. It's in the description. Use my link and you're going to get some free resources for doing so. So you're welcome. I contacted the gaming company and made sure that we all get free resources to the people that download using our links. So use mine. You'll get some free resources really, really simply. And that's just for downloading the game. So now that you have it, obviously you can see portal capacity increased. So this is honestly, okay, let's collect one last time. We'll show you what's going on. All right, one second, just finishing upgrades. So those are your mines, as you can see, gold smelters, what they're called, and they make your resources. Now these are your builders, and I have like a bunch of them, five of them, and then here's where your gold storages are. So they just upgraded a little bit there. Here is your watchtower. This shoots at people. You got a catapult that does area damage, uh, another watchtower, and then these are like, kind of you know, spell towers they shoot like if you want to compare to clash of clans you'd have to say a wizard tower um but they're very different they do different things like this one is a freeze tower and this one is a flame tower so very interesting this actually shoots flames at people while this one actually freezes them in place so it's all dependent on what hero you have at the time that you build it which is really cool here's your portals this is like your uh, army camp but the really cool thing about this game is that you can actually change your troops at any time and you never ever once need to build troops so that is very key so let's go to the map and we'll show an attack and basically this is how easy it is here's the map really cool um, there's a lot of stuff you can do and it's gonna be expanding and expanding and expanding but let's start out right here with a multiplayer battle something super simple for our first episode next episode we'll go after a new ancient which is a hero um, the thing you want to know about this game is there are a lot of heroes, guys. Unlike Clash of Clans, there are many heroes, and they'll be introducing a lot more. And what will happen with that is you'll be able to basically have different abilities and each... Wow, this is a lot of defense. This is a really strong base, guys. I'm a little worried about this. I have yet to face a base this strong. So, very interesting. And I do have my Ancient here. You can see he's a Fire Ancient. I'll use him, and then next time I'll use one of these other ones I have. Um, but you continue to get them as you go through the game. And let's see here. Let's start out with... I'm going to use a troop booster. So right here is a common one. This adds an additional three units to my group, okay? So you can add another three guys to drop in, which is really, really helpful. Uh, let's start out... God, I really don't want to do this the wrong way. It's going to be rough. Let's just start here and hope for the best. I'm going to have to do this and drop down our troops. So you can see right here... Oh, boy, get it. They're on fire. And we got this. Cool. So they're destroying stuff. These give you mana, okay? So what I was saying, those birds will actually get you more mana out of it. It gives four, and obviously the more you get, the more you can do. So when you get to this last level here, you could actually drop down an Ancient. So there goes my Fire Ancient. He's just going crazy. Um, with the lower ones, you could do this, and you could drop Fireballs. So that's pretty freaking awesome. I love it. And you could also speed it up. So look how fast I can attack. And then when I want to slow it down, I just let go of that button, and I can drop down some more Fireballs from Hell. And here we go. Wow, my Ancient died without killing it? Wow, that's crazy. Anyway, speeding it up. We're going to get a bunch of mana for destroying that. There we go. And now we'll drop down one more Ancient, and he'll go crazy. So you don't actually need uh, to have like a ton of health on your troops because you do get a lot of special abilities in here. And you can always fast forward, which is really awesome. And look how great the graphics are. Like This is amazing how good the graphics are in this game. I'm super excited to be playing it. That's just the honest reason I'm playing this game is that I absolutely love it. I'm super honored that I was accepted to come out to London and play this in person. 
So very, very exciting. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Oh, cool. Relic chest. Let's see what we get here. All right. Open now. And I love the lightning effects there. It's pretty freaking awesome. But there it is. You won a Primus Mage reinforcement. Wow. I've actually never had those before. I've been playing for a little bit now. I'm not too crazy far in or anything like that. But uh, just doing the best I can. Let's see what they do. I normally wouldn't use them unless I was facing something serious. But... You know what? We'll do one more attack, and then, yeah, that should be... We'll, we'll see what we'll do after that. It's going to be interesting. This is all live, so we're going to have some fun. We're going to switch our Ancient up. Let's go over to Hegar, or however you say it. He is, uh, like, a basically an Ice Ancient, which is really cool. But his special abilities are different. Every Ancient has different special abilities. Here's a Dragon Roost, I believe, yeah. Yep, Dragon Roost. Nice. That's really cool. Um, I'll explain that later in the next episode, because you do get dragons. Uh, let's see. Wow, mages. Cool. Um, alright, so we can build anything, so first things first, I can throw those up there, I'll show you what they do, and then I will do this, so that should be the best way to set it up, but you can literally just change your troops however you want, just by dragging them in there, it's really awesome, you never have to wait, everything's interchangeable, um, here's our Primus Mage reinforcements, those are pretty freaking legit, I actually am really excited to use those in the next video, so definitely don't miss that, how are we going to attack this, okay, let's see what happens when we drop down these guys here, we're going to drop down these birds, and see how much mana they get for us. Obviously, we already have four mana to start. Let's see how much they can get. Oh, boy. Come on. Get in there. Let's go. Get in there. All right. So, they gave us... What was it? One, two... Like, I don't know. Five? I don't know. They gave us a little bit extra, I think. I didn't really get to see that well, unfortunately. Here is what this does. If you click it around multiple things, it drops down a freeze spell, basically. That's what the second power-up does. It freezes all the defenses. Um, this one actually breaks walls. As you saw, I just broke that wall for my guys, which is kind of helpful. I'm going to break another one right there. And then we're just going to hold off. Look at this. It tells you where the mana mages or whatever the hell they're called. The birds can actually go after them, which is really cool. And let's see. Our guys are taking their sweet time. They're really dying fast. I'm really worried about this tower here, and it's going to kill them. Oh, man. They died. This is not going well for us, guys. We're not doing well. All right. So we're just going to freeze just because we can. It wasn't the best placement. I could have froze that a little bit further on and got all three of those towers. Uh, but this is the base. Pretty awesome, and most of the bases are actually unique as far as, uh, not multiplayer, but as far as the map, there's like multiple places you can go to that have completely different zones. Oh, cool, perfect. Now, we can show you the last level. Let's drop them in there, and here come our triple attack guys. These are our ice ancients, and they come in, and they just go to work, which is really cool, and it's really exciting, obviously. Let's put it on fast forward. We don't want to get bored by this. Um, we're actually going to win 100%, shockingly. Uh, just due to the fact that we had the abilities you saw there. So that's really cool. And I just blew up another wall for fun. But look at that awesome victory, actually. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, though. And let's see what else I can do before I cut it at the end. Make sure you do download, as I said, guys. And if you have any help or questions that you need help with, I should say, uh, make sure that you go ahead and let me know. And I will help you out because there's a lot of things that people are questioning. Uh, for example, here's the level 1 walls. I actually upgraded some so you can see what it looks like. It starts to look really cool. It's like level 4, and they get really beastie looking. And yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Also, let's see. What else? Can we build anything? Let's check. Let's check if we can build something. we got to be able to build something or other. All right, so let's build. We can build walls. That's boring. A Sky Watcher. What does it do? Oh, my God. Hold on. What does it do? we got to find out. Fires numbing poison attack at airborne units. Oh, okay. All right. What does this one do? Increases the firing speed of adjacent defenses when charged. That sounds legit. I definitely want to do that one. Um, I have not been attacked by many air units, so we're going to do this one first. It's going to cost four diamonds, but whatever. We're going to actually let that upgrade. Now, really cool about this game also, guys, when you're starting out, the coolest thing is this. Um, you can actually... Oh, two hours. Damn. You can't skip that. But when you're first starting out, most of your stuff, you can actually skip in the beginning really easily. Uh, here's where you do your troop upgrades at the blacksmith. You just click on it, and boom, there you go. You can do anything you want. We have to upgrade that, so we're going to do it. I'm going to spend 470 diamonds there and get that done. Hopefully, though, in the next episode, I'll be able to show you some really cool attacks. I want to get this dragon ancient that's really epic, and then I can have a dragon roost on my base, and you guys will be able to see that. So I'm planning on doing that for the next video. I'm super excited for the future of this game, and hopefully you guys are enjoying, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.